Hey, hello and welcome guys. This is Oakley Hadif and I'm with the Halo 4 epidemic and we're going to be bringing you a quick tutorial on how to use gravity volumes. So, this is very easy to do. What you're going to do is you're going to start off at the main menu and you're going to go up to gadgets. Then you have gravity volumes here. So you have multiple options and I'll outline those. So gravity volume 5x5, you have an invisible option, 10x10, 10 10, and again an invisible option. So in Forge you can see all of them. But if you were to use the invisible option, obviously the hill that you can see here, the outline of it would not be visible. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. So when you place the gravity volume, as you can tell, there are up arrows. That indicates the direction of the gravity field. Now, gravity volumes don't work um, to override the complete gravity in the area. And something else to note is the fact that you have to be in motion um, or jumping in order for them to work. So if I just walk through here, what you'll notice is that I won't actually go up. Um, the way the gravity volume works is I have to be up in the air um, because this only acts on gravity. Um, and it's not gravity in the real world sense. This is gravity in the sense of halo, um, kind of like a jump height effect. So once I'm in the air, then the game has to calculate gravity. So you can see now that I'm in the hill, it's going, you know, gravity is upwards. Now it's not completely upwards. One hill would not do the trick. This only lowers my gravity slightly. Now you can see here there are two hills that overlap. So I'm going to go in the middle and now you can see it has a, more of an effect. So you can stack multiple hills um, and think of these as sort of uh, different vectors. So vector is something that has a magnitude and a direction. So you can stack vectors, you can add vectors. Um, two of them in the same direction will have twice the uh, the magnitude. You can put them sideways and the resultant will be a diagonal. So you can do all sorts of stuff to change the gravity. Here you can even have sideways gravity. Again you can see if I'm not in the act of jumping or anything like that it won't affect me. Once I jump though you'll see that the gravity pushes me to the right. So that's something important to note. Now gravity volumes will also affect vehicles. Um, again what I'll show you is you can go through here and if you go through a hill like this you can tell it does slightly affect the mongoose handling, um, but it won't really affect you that much until you're up in the air. So what I'll show you here is I made a jump. So what you'll see is all vehicles will be affected uh, except for the mantis because it's very large. Um, once you go off the jump, you'll see that the gravity volumes take effect, and there you go. So that's pretty cool. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and show you some of the heavier vehicles and sort of what that looks like. So what you can do is you can go ahead and grab the tank. Tank usually won't float unless you get it to go off a ramp. Then it takes off just like this. So that's really cool. Something you could use in mini games. Uh, you know, floating tanks would be cool. Um, you can see even with the arcing fire, that looks awesome. You could have pretend they're I don't know spaceships in some sort of mini game or whatnot. And now what I'm going to do over here is get in the ghost, and I'll show you what it looks like when you get the ghost to come through here uh, through some stacked hills. So what you'll achieve is a, a state where you can actually go flying. Um, and if you put these all together in a confined space, you know, put some sideways um, facing forwards, you can actually cause the ghost to, um, you know, float in space. So you, if you angle them all like this towards the center, what you'll have is a pretty cool effect where you can have vehicles just floating in the center, um, sort of trapped in a nice state. So that could be something, again, to be used in minigames or um, anything like that. So I'll go ahead and drop, for example, a Warthog in the center, and we'll see what it does. So all these things, again, act like vectors. So you can see you just add them up, and what will happen is you might have a, just a floating Warthog. That will go between these various states. Uh, so that's really cool, again, for minigames or maybe an aesthetic if you want banshees or crates or other things floating in the background. That's a cool aesthetic touch that you could pull off. So yeah guys, this has been Oakley High Def with the Halo Forge Epidemic. I hope you enjoy, and as soon as people find creative ways to manipulate these and use them in different ways, uh, we'll go ahead and make videos on those. If you have an idea, go ahead and submit it to you know the comments below, or go ahead and check out the link below on 343 Industries to join the discussion there. So see you guys. Thanks for tuning in.